Hey, good morning everyone. My name is Dave White. I'm a Class A interprovincial mechanic. And if you've got a few minutes today, I'd like to talk to you about something that might uh, save you some money. And hey, we're all about saving money. So, the other day, my friend Bubba says to me, Dave, what's your favorite tool? I know you've been a mechanic for like all your life and uh, you must have a favorite tool. And I says, well, you know, Bubba, I'll tell you what it is. Let me go over here. I said, Bubba, this is my favorite tool. I wouldn't be without this sucker. I tell you, boy, it has saved me so much time. Well, you'll remember, Bubba. Remember just a couple of weeks ago you called me. You said, hey, Dave, and it was like uh, late at night. I said, he said, my car won't start. I said, where are you, Bubba? He says, well, I'm just down at the beer store. I said, well, hang on a second, Bubba, I'll go down there. Okay, so I get down there, and sure enough, Bubba's car won't start again. So, I reached underneath, and I said, Bubba, crank it over there. You know, hold the key over, and let's uh, hit the starter. And it, this, for you that don't know, is that this is the starter. They all kind of look like that. So, son of a gun, it started. I said, okay now, Bubba, don't shut it off. Take it back home, or... Take it to my garage tomorrow morning and we'll fix it for you, okay? So guess what? There a couple of weeks later, I get a call again. It's Bubba. Dave, he says, my car won't start now. Really? I said, what seems to be the problem? He says, well, it cranks over like crazy. Well, it should. I just changed the starter a couple of weeks ago, Bubba. He says, well, it won't start, Dave. I said, well... Hang on, I'll be down in the same beer store, right? Yeah, same beer store. I said, so I get down there. I said, Bubba, crank it over. I lean underneath the car, and I tap the gas tank. Look for the lowest part, because that's where the fuel pump's going to be. I tapped it. Son of a gun, didn't I get lucky? I just hit it the right way, and it started. I said, Bubba, don't you shut that thing off. Take it home, or let's take it to the garage right now, and then we can get it fixed. So we saved ourselves a tow bill, and this is the only thing I need to diagnose it. It's not going to happen all the time. So the reason some of this happens is because this is just an electric motor. It's not going to last your lifetime. At some time, the sucker is going to wear out, okay? Sometimes you get lucky and you just hit it enough and, uh, you know, it's got a loose bushing or something in there or a dirty brush, and you'll get it to make contact. That might be your one get out of jail card, okay? So, anyway, if you derive anything from this last few minutes, it's either don't go to the beer store or don't have a friend named Bubba. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for some of my other videos.